Hello, Revolution Golfers. This is Martin Chuck, and I'm in the studio at the Raven, and I want to talk to you slicers about something. And for those of you that hit overdraws and big hooks, you too. But the slicer, if you've always had a path that's been going across the golf ball, okay? I've got the educator in here for a reason. This is the Tour Striker Educator, and it's in here to illustrate a point. Somebody that's hitting a draw will have their weight forward at impact, and this device right here will rotate through square, and it will keep on going to where you can see how it looks like the club's completely released on the left screen, but on the right screen you can still see the triangle of my arms. That's one of the big illusions of golf right there. On the left it looks like a big release, on the right you can see that I still have a nice triangle of my arms here. Now at address you can see that my hands are in what I call a mid-body position. Some people like to put their hands at address. That's okay, it's not my preference. It sure worked for Jack Nicholas, though. I just like a golf swing to flow into a backswing and then arrive at an impact condition and then be sustained into an extended, turned, finished position. Now for those of you that have been slicing it, it was a path doing something like this. Let's take a look. And we'll take a moment and slow that one down. Okay, let's take a look at this. So on the left screen, let's go ahead and play through this shot a little bit. Here's your typical slice pattern. I'll slow this down. You can see my hips right here. My hips are going to reverse. They're going to start to work around me. My weight's going to go back into my right foot. And then I'm going to do whatever I can not to hit this ball too far to the left, which is counterintuitive when you think about it. Now let's take a look here on the right screen from the top down position. As I'm working down to the golf ball, my club is now outside the target line. So if I draw a line on my target line that parallels the direction of that stick, this club is coming from outside that target line. That's outside and it's working down and across. So instinctively what I'm going to do with my hands right here is I'm going to block the shot. I am going to retard the, the release of this club face so that I don't start the golf ball too far to the left because my path is going to the left. I don't want to hit golf shots that go excessively left. Therefore, I'm going to hold that club face from releasing. So let's talk about that some more. Okay, Revolution Golfers. So you could see that that had a, cl a club clearly going across the golf ball. Now that face you're looking at in the right screen and the left screen, we don't want the golf ball to go way, way to the left. So what slicers inevitably do is they reverse their hands. You can see the back of my left hand in that right screen. That is when a face and path are going to the left. We reverse things. Now when you come to the golf academy and you learn how to get your weight nicely grounded on your left side for impact, and then guess what? You still have this trait of reversing. So you can be in a great impact position like on the left screen. You can have forward shaft lean, but where's the golf ball going to go? It's going to go right of Rush Limbaugh, okay? So what we have to learn how to do is allow this club face to get square rather than this reversing which you've always done. So you're going to feel a motion that feels like some sort of rolling going on here. But in reality, you're just learning how not to reverse the golf club. So I hope this little tip Hello up there. I hope this little tip helps you understand that when you learn how to get your weight forward and you learn how to get that shaft leaning on the golf ball, you still need to learn how to get these vertical hands here in a vertical condition over here, which really looks like it's released on the left screen, but we can see it's really just in a nice triangle position that we had somewhat at address on the right screen. So this is Martin Chuck from the Raven Golf Club Phoenix. Thanks for watching. Post your questions and comments down below.